peer reviews are well known to be both effective and efficient. You have no doubt heard this, but let's show an example from real industry embedded system design so you can understand how things tend to go. This is a graph of defect removal from a project from about 2000. The product being developed was a mission critical pipeline flow device that required very high software quality. The team was experienced and had made similar products before. A few defects were found in informal read throughs of the system requirements. But that was about it up front. No defects were found in other phases, such as detailed design, peer reviews of code, and unit test, primarily because the team skipped those phases. A couple hundred major bugs were found in system test, as well as a few dozen minor bugs. The system shipped and was successful. However, there was always the chance that a critical defect had slipped past system test and escaped into the field. Additionally, system test and debug took a lot of time at the end of the project, so the team was under a lot of deadline pressure. Contrast this with a project the same team did five years later. This was a similar project with somewhat more complex requirements, but in general, the same kind of system. However, the team had committed to improving their software process by not skipping steps and by doing peer reviews at each step. As you can see, system test found only a handful of bugs instead of the hundreds of bugs as happened on the previous project. That's because all the bugs had been found before system test. This reduced last minute deadline pressure and dramatically increased the confidence that high quality software was being shipped. A closer look at the data reveals the story is even more interesting than that. Significantly more minor defects were found early in the design process as shown by the large pale blue bars. But beyond that, easily twice as many major defects, the dark blue bars, were found overall. Recall that this is the same team building a similar product. It's possible that this software was more buggy to begin with somehow, but it seems unlikely. What seems much more likely is that a higher percentage of bugs were found before the system shipped, and they were found earlier. Note that the vast majority of major bugs were found up front before the code was even written. That means that fixing bugs was easier and cheaper than the much more difficult process of isolating bugs and fixing them based just on system test. 